Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, today I have a short video for you guys. I want to show you how we utilize Google search, simple Google searches to identify potential lead magnets to offer to our target audience and also to figure out, or our client's target audience rather, and also to figure out what the intent is behind these searches so we can provide them the best resource um, in exchange for their contact information. So I'm gonna switch screens over here. So you can see here, I just did a quick, simple search for time management. And we're gonna skip through the ads. Ads don't really give you a whole lot of data on this keyword search, aside from the fact that people are paying to be here. So there's probably revenue behind this search term, meaning if people are searching for time management, they're willing to pay for a solution. So seeing ads here, is the first thing that you want to take note of that the <clears throat> that the offer or tool that you're going to create for your audience uh, in exchange for leads is validated by by google ads here uh, the next thing that you're going to want to take note of is looking down here at the top few listings you're going to want to look at the top two or three and you're going to look at the description which this is actually a featured snippet uh, but you're going to look at the snippet. If it's there, you're going to look at what people also ask. You're going to look at the title and the meta description. So let's see what information we can deduct by the search. Looks like people are looking for the definition of what time management is. That's not going to help us. We're going to look at mind tools. What is time management? Process of organizing. So it looks like people are looking to understand what time management is. So that would be something important to include in your downloadable offer. Benefits. So this is something that we can deduct from this. How, uh, how well do you manage your time? You could create a quiz to evaluate how well your potential audience manages their time. General time management tools. You could come up with a tool list or tool set or a tool in general to improve their time management skills or a game something like that a guide on how to prioritize your time management um, you can see here just going through the motions there's a lot you can also look at comments there's a lot of information that we could pull from there to create an offer i also have a couple of tools over here that you might want to take note of this is keywords everywhere uh, which will tell you things like trending keyword data. It'll show related keywords, uh, what people also ask for. Also, Keyword Minion is very good as well. That's a Chrome extension um, that will allow you to expand or copy what people are also asking, which I'll cover in another video. Uh, but going down here, <clears throat> um, another thing to take a look at is the related searches. So you can see these are mentions from Google showing that these are popular searches relating to time management. So you come up with a guide for examples, you come up with a course, um, like we, we mentioned tools, we've seen that one twice now, so that's a pretty good indicator that that will be a popular offer to create. And let's see what else we can pull from here. You, you can look at stories and see what's trending. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of really good information just by doing a simple Google search. Um, you're going to want to get the intent behind the search, right? So the few quick things that we just learned is understand the intent behind why someone is searching for this term before you create your offer. So we know that they're looking to understand what time management is, what the features and benefits are, how to incorporate good time management tools, and what was the last thing? Uh, this is really trying my memory. I shouldn't do these late in the evening. Perhaps goal setting or scheduling, something like that, or how to prioritize. So make sure you understand that intent, incorporate that into your copy and creative of your downloadable offer or tool, whatever you're creating. And utilize these Chrome extensions to get good information as to what people are looking for for additional ideas and topics to cover within the offer. Because remember, the, the more valuable that your offer is, 
uh, it's going to set your brand up with a positive first impression. So when you do follow up with that lead, um, you're going to be off onto the right foot and they're going to be happy with what you've given them so far. And it's going to make you more memorable and they're going to come back to you later on and just be more willing to do business with you. So spend, spend adequate amounts of time with your offers, um, do a good job and your leads will, uh, pay off for it. Uh, that's all I got for tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.